Hello, everybody. It's Virtual Truck Driver Diaries. Time clap, 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 clap. How are we all doing today, guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are proudly supported and sponsored by our the main title sponsor, ProMods. If you want an enhanced map mod experience on ETS2, then ProMods is the map mod for you. As well as the British Haulage Packs for ETS2 guys who supply all of the trucks you see in Virtual Truck Driver Diaries. And if you want to get your hands on one of these trucks that I drive, just message them and they'll set you up. How are we all doing today, guys? Uh, I want to sh shout out to uh, A and A Transport for for purchasing four brand new Renault Range Tees. They look very very beautiful. And we'll say, oh, I can actually go. So yeah, congratulations on your new purchase. Hope you enjoy the Renaults. Um, but yeah, so we're back at it, guys. Um, it is actually race week. If you know me. Um, you'll understand what race week means. For those of you who don't and are new, hello, welcome. Why haven't you been here sooner? And uh, race week is what it says it's race week. We're leading up to one of the very big endurance races, both in real life and on esports, sim sport, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. It's esports to me. Um, the iRacing Daytona 24 hours this Sunday as. I'm recording this, it's actually Tuesday, so it's the 15th, and I'm just taking an hour away from race week just to film part of this episode, so yeah, it's good, we're, we're looking good, uh, testing's gone well, practice is going really well, everybody's settled in with the car, you know, it's, it's going to be a good one, we know we ain't the fastest car out there, but we'll give it a crack, so yeah, but... I just wanted to step away from all of that to come and film an episode here for a minute. Just to reconnect myself, you know, un unplug from that and plug back into this for a little bit. That's all I want to do. But yeah, so we are actually in Austria, so I am breaking about 500 rules recording this bit. And I've just realised we're in Austria. <laughs> If anybody from Austria watches this, please do not send the footage to your police. Um, obviously, there is no police in the ETS2, I do need to make this point. But I, I this is as close as I'm ever going to get to doing what I wanted to do. Um, because obviously I can't drive through medical reasons. So obviously if I can't drive I can't get well I can't get a license, which means without a license I can't drive. Without driving I can't do this. So I, I like to keep this as real as I physically can and uh, yeah so I abide by country rules like on the autobahns in Germany um, if it's a two lane bit every lorry has to stay as far right as possible which is basically each lorry stays in one lane it doesn't overtake for any reasons you know when we get onto a two lane bit you gotta wait for special size to say you can overtake and you know, more than likely you probably won't ever get them. And uh, yeah, so I like to keep it as real as I can. You know, I drive 800 km between 750 and 850 kilometers a day. But because today is a 892 kilometer trip, I'm just going to carry on. I think. But as you can see, the signs for Bratislava and Budapest are on the horizon. And uh, where are we going, mate? You ask. Well, you ask me where are we going. What was that? Where are you going? Ah, oh, where, where are we going? Where am I going today? We're going to that place. <laughs> we are heading to Joranska Trivogania Trivago. Jadranska. Right, we'll go with Jadranska. That's fair, I think. Jadranska. Turk of Vina Trog of Vina Oh Trog of Vina Yard Yardanska Trivonia Yeah We'll go with that That's where we're heading today boys and girls It is a it was a five hundred and ninety kilometre trip but I've done a little bit more miles since then so <laughs> yeah 
but no, I hope you're all doing well. Going back to the whole Austria bit, it's actually against the law to publicly film in Austria. Yeah, you need to get special permits and things, apparently. Just like it's illegal to wash your car off as well, I think. And something else. Oh, that's Switzerland. that might be Switzerland, actually. I think I might have gone down the wrong one. I should have gone over there. Ah well. Hungry, 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 we've been hungry. Do, 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 do. Hungry, 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 ooh. Do, 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 yeah, we're in Hungary guys if you haven't guessed but we're heading to Serbia no SRB is Croatia we're heading to Croatia that's where we're going you know I like coming down here guys uh, we use, I think this is a call from MSIC yeah it is so I, I haven't been on for 10 days so I've been busy with race week uh, for the last well I'll tell you the story of how I found out I was doing the I race in 24 hours. So when I joined Happy Cat Racing Esports Team or Team Margella Happy Cat Racing, other wines are not available. Uh, Margella is a wine brand from Australia, guys, if you didn't know. Um, yeah, I want to send us some wine. I could probably sell it for a bomb. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, when I joined uh, Margiela Happy Cat Racing, uh, it was called Kaido Happy Cat Racing then, uh, about three and a half months ago. I knew they was, oh, I knew pretty much all of them because they used to race with them when the team, when Happy Cat Racing started out on back in 2011, I think it was. And um, I nearly wanted to do enduros, but obviously with me being ill, I needed to build up enduro fitness or enduro fit. So if you hear me refer to enduro fit, it means endurance racing fitness. Um, I needed to build on the enduro fit, so I started actively, you know, carrying on with weight loss. I've been doing a little bit more to aid that. Obviously, I'm on a set plan as it is now. I've been doing a little bit more to get back into shape. By the way, I have dropped below 120 kilos in weight. I don't know what that is in stone, don't ask me. Work that out for yourself and put the answers in the comments below. And um, I said to them, look, I need to build enduro fit. And they said, okay, when you're looking for, I said, give me an extra six months, see what I can do. So it was set that I was going to do the I race in Salem's six hours of Watkins Glen. Um, it's pretty much most of these events are of real life counterparts so I said okay I know that's due and that was it no more was said about it and then start of December the guys started working towards Daytona and they started to prep I'll take this for a drink more and they started to prep and um you know, I was crappy man of my own business knowing that I'm not involved in a conversation because I'm obviously not doing any endurance races yet. So Christmas Eve rolls up, the team are well into the training, I'm staying well out of the way because I don't want to ruin the preparation. And Christmas Eve comes and I get a message. James, would you like to do some stints at Daytona? Actually, yeah, I would. And they said, well, they're yours if you want them. And I was like, alright then. So I thought about it for a couple of days and I was like, so, do you know what? I'm going to say yeah. I say no to a lot of things. I'm going to say yeah to this one. And the team were like, yeah, you're buzzing. You're going to be in the second class. I said, okay then. And they said, oh, don't worry, there's other drivers in there as well. I said, like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess, because it's a 24 hour event. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to do it all on my own. And since then, since then, I've been building up to do with this race, and it's got to race week, and I'm nervous and excited really badly. 
Like, I know it's going to be painful. It's painful sitting here talking to you guys now. And I'm not even pushing hard. I'm just, you know, trying not to crash. Um, so, you know, that's how it all came about in the end. Um, what I was going to say really, there's nothing else I can say. Apart from lifting the axles to save the tyres. I knew you were going to do that. Stupid truck. Can't guys, I need to push on so I can never take this truck because it's obvious he's fully laden. Come on. Come on. This is how the traffic's going to be a race at like Daytona. The traffic's going to be evil. You know, we've been doing a lot of training, I've been doing a lot of training as well, both for Daytona and in real life, so it's it's going to be painful. I'm nervous and excited. I'm in an AMG, which helps because I've it's got ABS. And I prefer to be in the Porsche, but not my call at the end of the day. Um, so, you know, we've all just got to plough on, haven't we? We've all just got to accept things. I'm looking forward to my, to my stints. I really am. All I know is that I'm finishing, and that's all I can tell you so far. So it's just it's going to be a mad one. <laughs> you know, fair share minimum drive time is six hours for everybody to be classified. Uh, well, it's two hours minimum to be classified as a finisher or a driver, and it's six hours total. No, it's fair, fair share if you're fairly sharing the hours is six hours each. But I know there's a lad who wants to do two hours, and that's it. Um, and. Um, me and another lad called James is probably going to have to pick up the spare four hours between ourselves. So then that pushes our drive time to eight hours, which is 16 for both of us. Um, but yeah, I am confident in the team. I really am. My car is amazing. It, it's, it's an amazing setup. And the drivers are just fantastic too. Yeah, I really. Oh, oh excuse me. I am really honoured to be working with them and you know it's going to be a good 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 race uh, I'm looking forward to it, I've got a load of other friends doing it as well so it's just going to be one massive enjoyment and I am looking forward to it, I'm not going to lie, I'm properly looking forward to it. So yeah as this video carries on probably I could confirm since later on in this video but as of this section I can't I cannot confirm the times with you unfortunately it sucks I know but you know it is what it is you know we're still trying to talk it all out and see what time everybody's available what time everybody's got to go to work oh, excuse me And then we've got the real Daytona 24 hours the next weekend. And then, so the weekend that's just been, if you're watching all day release. Um, and then we've got Daytona 500. Um, also, we've got, I think we've got Bathurst as well. That, so we've got Daytona in about 500, which is NASCAR, in about uh, three weeks. And then the fourth weekend is Bathurst 12 hours. <laughs> So one week I go from driving a four-speed H-shift NASCAR with nothing, no traction control, no ABS, no grip, no downforce, no nothing, to a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT3. <laughs> oh, it's going to be bad. I'm so sorry, unless I start, if I don't, if I don't keep you on, then I'm going to start, I'm going to bed, I'm going to make performance in a minute. Okay, so I might just do that to be truthful with it been waiting on for about 15 minutes now so yeah guys I'm uh, looking to confirm everything as soon as possible hopefully fucking curtain hopefully nobody's there oh I could have said that at a greater time could I is there anybody behind me yeah there is
somebody's text me. I don't know who it is. I don't know they really care because I'm going to bed in a minute. Thank you to that car. So yeah, first checkpoint. Okie okay, Yeah, I've been banging on for about 15 minutes now. So, thank you for watching this little segment and I'll see you in a second. But for me, it's probably going to be after a lap. See you in a minute, guys. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. We have just gone past the city of Sovidnad in Serbia. We've been in Serbia for a bit now, but we're coming up to Belgrade. The reason I wanted to start at Belgrade is because there's... If you follow the Champions League and Europa League, there's uh, two teams. Blue Star Bel Red Grey, Belgrade and Red Star Belgrade. And there are very little teams here in like in Europe, but in Serbia these are the two biggest clubs they've got. And the whole reason that the Blue Star and the Red Star is formed is because the Red Star team was founded by firefighters. So Red Star Belgrade was a firefighters team and they take on Blue Star Belgrade, which is the police. Police's team. And they both, and then they take the three of them. You're gonna pull out, aren't you? No. And then they, there was a third team called Green Star Belgrade, which was obviously paramedics, but that team really didn't get up and going. So they sort of like just left Green Star Belgrade, you know, off, um, like on the back burner. But Red Star, Blue Star, their their fans are fanatical. You know, they're up there with the Ajax fans, the Dortmund fans, you know what I mean? It's They're so loud and noisy. It's amazing. I'm, I only found out about this a couple of weeks ago. Um, but, obviously I knew Red Star Belgrade and Blue Star and all that. For years, because of the Champions League and Europa League. But I never knew what the red and the blue was. I just thought it was like Man United, one team was red, one team was blue and they put it in their name, but I, I genuinely didn't know about the history of it. I know, mad, isn't it? Let me think about it. It's just... I wish this country would do something like that, do you know what I mean? It's... It's begging for it. It really is. Um, only weighing three, I've only got three tons of cargo on, um, so I'm running the mid lift and the tray, one of the trailing lifts up. But, so yeah, I've only got like three tons on, the total weight is about 13 tons, and that's gross, that's including the. That's including the truck and the trailer and the load. But yeah, we've just really the coming up or just gone past Belgrade, so let's, let's take a look. No, we're coming up to Belgrade. Oh come on, little Ford Mustang thing. Making a last pitch thought. I think it might have paid off, you know. Phew. I was almost annoyed about that, that's why I went quiet. Yeah, but yeah, new guys, new pro mods compatible with the Baltic. This is this uh, version 2.32 is compatible with the Baltic DLC, so you can have it installed, it just won't show the Baltic DLC bit, it'll just show Pro Mod Baltics. Um, but the, I've heard the new version is a couple of days away at the time of recording, which is like the 16th. But I can't confirm anything yet because I don't know. I'm just going off what I've heard in the community and I'm on some Discord servers as well.
But yeah, I just thought I'd pop on and say about that red star bell green thing. I genuinely didn't know anything about it. Which is so cool. I think. Yeah, if you don't guess guys, I have farted a cold. Um, my nose is bunged up again, it's very painful. Very sore. Currently drive a little bit because it just gets so painful. Like my sinuses get so painful. It's like now I can hardly see uh, my left eye. And my left eye feels so weak and then occasionally get pen and needles for it and it'd be so painful and then it'd be floppy and then it'd be rock hard spasming. It's just so painful at the moment. I could do without it really. Because I've got 24 hours racing and also about 8 hours. That's the frustrating part about this bit, to be truthful. Alright guys, so we're coming up to Belgrade now, the beautiful sea. I'm going to jump off, we'll do it a little bit for chilly later on. Hey guys, welcome back, hope you're alright. I'm going to do a bit for chilly for you now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn the music up, I'm going to drive, and um, I'll turn the mic off, I'll turn it back on in a bit. Enjoy. When I close my eyes, disconnected and tired. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey alright guys, welcome back. How uh, well, are you? you enjoyed that short little section there. We are coming into the town of Nice. And it's in Nice, like that Nice. It's basically pronounced it N E I S. But it's actually Nice. But yeah, we're coming in now. I'm just sure that's the front window open. Mm. That's all good because I was playing on a lot of cold air in now. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm freezing. So yes guys, this is a trip number one done of this episode. This is what I had in mind for doing the, the weekly version, so I do a lot of trips and show you segments from each trips. Which is what I'm planning to do today. I know the last couple of weeks I've just been one trip, but I'm still finding my feet, I'm still trying new things out. You know, it's weird being on my own after spending five and a half years with BTCs. Yeah, so I'm still trying to find my feet. Ignore the fuel gauge, it's wrong. Um, I'll grab some fuel in there in a minute. I know I ain't got a hope in how to get across here till the traffic lights change so just creep out slowly. It's fine by me, thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know how tight the corners are. Which is why I'm just being doubly cautious. Perfect. I know I'm getting over there. Thank you, Gates. Yes, purple things. You're all going to see purple things that are things that normally should look red in game are going to look purple and that is because um, pretty much is clashing with the bolted DLC trust me I've took every mod out and tried it uh oh got out of space see I, don't see, <laughs> I can barely drive a 44 ton truck how the hell have a cat in the back of the truck it's got to be on me and I know the guys are watching so, I'll to the team. Alright. Let's get this trailer ditched, because this is staying here, apparently. But I've got to unload and take it around the corner. Which means I'm going to unlock it and put it up. I'm pointing as if you can see. Bum ba da dum ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 I will get more music cards, I'm just way later doing other things at the moment in my life. Vienna. To Nice. It was 835 kilometers for an in-game trip time of 13 hours. 15 minutes and it was potted plants and it was MSIC and it was 3 ton weight alright guys so we'll see you again in a moment for another segment and welcome back to this new segment guys how are you I hope you're enjoying it there we go for some reason, there we go, I just want my phone to balance there for a minute if I'm watching something as well. I'm actually currently getting loaded for Sit Fazos 
Cyphos in um, in Greece. So we're going to Paphos, Lesmosis, the coast of Lanarka. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to get the ferry from Thessaloniki. Th this is Albania. Um, this is Greece. This is Macedonia. So we're going to drive through this segment again, guys. Which you know I'm like, I'm going to try and find some work down in this area. But anything the east of um, uh, Austria would really, really be nice. But yeah, so we are we're in Nice still. So I like I like that road into Nice. So I might try and get some work around there as well. I think we've been to Constantinople, Bath, uh, Bucharest. So trust me. Book Bucharest, like I know it's a style Bucharest for the football club, but yeah. So scopes here, Thursaki. All right. So let's go see what we're getting loaded with today. So we've got a ton of cut flowers, really. So I was asked to pick up the, this container trailer for one ton. Right, never, never doing that again. Uh, the other mats of the trailers over there. He's got a driver on the way to pick it up. But this driver that had this one had to shoot off. He needed fuel. Why he couldn't hook up to the other trailer? I've got no idea. I'm currently being loaded. So yeah, it's going. It's going good today. It's going good. So I will see you when I am loaded. See you later. Yo yo yo, welcome back, how are you all? We are just climbing out of Nice, Nice, whatever I said it was earlier. Um, that fuel station that I wanted to go to doesn't actually do truck fuel, which is a bit of a letdown, because I went in there, you know, I, I got on the curb properly, I mounted it properly, you know, I, I followed everything by the law, and I got there, and it was like, don't do truck fuel, find another service station, I was like, oh, come on, really? You know, you've just watched me spend 10 minutes coming up here perfectly and it's like nah sorry carry on it's like, oh, I forgot to take so yeah we are currently leaving with a well we've got like 930 k's in the tank yeah but the fuel gauge you see here on the bottom of the speedo is wrong it's it is wrong it's broke sorry which sucks but that is what it is unfortunately no there ain't nothing I can do about it all I'm gonna do is just carry on doing my job but yeah guys so this is the Thursday before I'm recording these episodes in advance as well so I can get a lot of rest after Daytona excuse me if none of you want to hear about the build up to race week um, I haven't done the race yet um, so talking about the build up if you don't want to hear that then skip this segment and come back for the next bit so adios if you're leaving so race week it's thursday the 17th of january 2019 and i'm gearing up for my first i racing daytona 24 hours and my first i racing special event endurance event race and it's a weird feeling um, I've been given the honour of starting our car, the 41 AMG. Happy Cat are running, that's the team I'm with, uh, eSports team, are running two AMG GT3s, thank you very much, car behind, in the GT Daytona class. Um, the, the Pro car is the 35 car and the Am car is the 41 car. I'm in the 41 car. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I am, like I said, I've been given the honour of starting the event and not gonna lie I am absolutely bricking it beyond all belief like you've all got no idea how much I am bricking it you know I've put in a lot of practice and a lot of testing um, for Daytona um, I'm just scared I'm just so scared of binning it in the wall or another car or breaking it to the point where it makes the race non-viable you know, I don't want to do that. It's my first event. I am bricking it. It's a 24-hour event. I'm bricking that bit as well. And you know, I'm the slowest class. So I've got to deal with traffic. And from the open testing that we've done this week, so from the 15th, uh, the 14th, sorry, when the official practice sessions were on, 
we're getting a lot of problems with the, the DPs and the GTE cars just dive bombing or doing stupid moves. Like, for example, I was testing with the lads the other day off stream, and uh, this DP came past us. And he came flying past, well, he came flying up to us using our draft, and then, you know, he couldn't pull clear. And he was side by side, and I'm like, mate, I'm faster than you, you know, you're gonna have to either pass me or back off. He's like, no, 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 me pass you, me pass you. I was like, okay, so I lifted off. You know, I gave him two seconds, so I bought it that lap, lifted off, let him have it, gave him two seconds of a gap. Eight corners it took for me to catch him up, and he's supposed to be in the faster car. And I'm like, Sorry mate, I've given you, I've given you, you know, I aborted my lap, my quality lap, and now I'm, uh, my practice lap, sorry, it's because I'm thinking about qualifying as well, and I, um, I goes, I aborted my practice lap mate, I need you to either move out of the way or speed up, he's like, no, no, me faster than you, and he's like, oh, here we go again, so I'm like, fine, so I aborted that whole session completely, I just came back in, boxed, filled the thing back up with fuel, and did another stint, and I caught him up then, and the pit stopped for a full tank from empty at Daytona was about, if we call it a minute for round figures, so everybody knows like what we're talking about here. And in that time he'd been out, crashed twice, and he was still not faster on the streets. He's like, I've got no, he's like, I'm not down for us, not down for us, we go fast. And he's like, no. Apart from the fact your, your rear wing on the angle it's at is saying you're running extremely high down for us. He's like, no, 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 they lie down for us, lay down for us. And I was like, Ugh. fine. So I boxed again, waited about five minutes, went for a wee, had a drink, came back, and I still managed to find him on a track. And it's like, for God's sake, I've been like gone for five whole minutes. Um, so I just carried on in the end, then got passing him. You know, I don't really like doing it because I'm in the lowest class car. I don't really want to overtake a DP, but because they're the fastest car. But you know, when you're holding me up like to this extent, he was it was just ridiculous. And the GTEs, let's not even go on about them. I don't think they know how to pass cleanly, full stop. To be truthful, you know, it's just it's just so frustrating. It's well, it's not frust. Oh yeah, it's frustrating actually. Now I'm having a drink. So, you know, you, I know, I've got to do what I've got to do, but, you know, there comes a time and a place. I, I fully understand that I'm not doing super rocket speed, but when I'm faster than a Daytona prototype down the street, then you really need to take a look at yourself, is all I'm saying. But, all honestly, I am bricking it so badly at all now. I'm only starting a car because nobody else would. I just want to say that now. That's the only reason why I have the honour of starting the car, because nobody else wants to. I particularly don't want to. I don't like. But, you know, we've got to do what we've got to do. We're all a team at the end of the day and we're in it together. So, you've got to carry on, yeah. got to put your fears aside and, uh, it. Board up. Yep. Shame. I need the fuel station. And this is a lane where we can dive back to but I really need the fuel station. Should be crossing into Greece now I think. Oh no, Macedonia, I forgot about Macedonia. Oh, they've applied to have their name changed. At this moment of recording, uh, Macedonia is called the Fu... F what is it? The former mm. Republic of Yugoslavia. FYR. Our former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia. And they've just changed their name to... Um... North Macedonia, I think it turns out to be in the end, but with a really long name. 
Oh yeah, I think so. Oh, that's Siri, but she's being a bitch today. That's not signed very well. But yeah, I'm only filming this so I can take my mind away from the race for a bit. Because it's just eating me up inside really badly. Just having a drink. Bum ba la 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 Hi people, enjoy your sleep. It's a good job I did bring the uh, st straight pipe down here, wouldn't it? Well, that'll wake you all up. Alright. Bonjour Macedonia, the former Yugoslavian Republic of North Macedonia, or whatever you want to be called. Like a cracking voice, but yeah. So, anyway, guys, I've talked for a little bit more than I wanted to to be truthful. So, I am going to shut up now. I'm going to enjoy driving through this section because everybody knows I love driving down here. So. I'm going to go and enjoy this and I'll see you all in a moment. I won't lie, it'll probably be Greece or Cyprus. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are in the Greek ferry terminal island of... Here we go. Thessaloniki, Naki, Noki, whatever. I'm, I'm not even a bother pronounce, trying to attempt to pronounce it. Because there's no open hell. I did take a little diversion off route. I wanted to get some fuel. Because it's well cheap in Greece. So I thought I come and get some fuel. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that was frame rate lost on my hand. Apologies, amigos. Apologies. <sighs> so let's just cruise around. I enjoy driving through Macedonia. It was a uh, very short. It was a very brief time, but it was very nice as usual. Listening to my own music. What I mean by my own is I mean copyrighted stuff. Well, this is mainly to Armin van Buren and his top 50 for a state of trance 2018 and it was very good and it was very good like the last five years I've listened to it or well, back in the top 25 and 20 years it was back in the day um, Unbreakable Concrete Angel and the air that I breathe are my favourite so Gar Gareth Emery's Call to Arms is by Cosmic Gate Remix, it's that, that's not that's one of my favourites, but there's only one king for me, and that is a Reload. Um, reload Silence, Silence is about Zach or Jack Edward, I can't quite remember, but yeah, that's my favourite. 
Ah, let's board this ferry to Tipperis. I didn't think I was ever going to come back down there, to be truthful. Won't lie. 31 hours on a boat. Bloody hell. And right now, there's somebody making that trip. How mad's that? Three, six, nine, eighteen, no. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen, twenty, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, twenty. So I've got to stretch off every four hours of the race to keep my throat, because we all know my throat is going to be a big issue. I build that pressure while I'm here. I don't recommend revving the arse off of new trucks, guys, just to do the air pressure. Well. And it doesn't help them on a ferry. And quite frankly, I haven't got time to sit around and idle it. Alright, somebody told me I did this wrong last time. So apparently, I have to come around here. That's close. Don't hit the cone that's there on the one hand. And then come all the way around here like this, follow the cones around. Apparently that's how you get out of here because I did it the other way last time, didn't I? But in fairness, I did not know where I was going. Here's where we get down here and it's like drive on the left. No it's not. It is drive on the left. How I'm confused, is this the right way or the wrong way? No, we're driving the left in my country, so this is the English way of driving. Buzzing. Cyprus know England's the best. They know it just for fact. Good on you, Cyprus. Excuse me. So I've got my Discord to give me notifications of what people are saying in the, the various Discord servers I'm in. And it comes up in the corner, I'm just watching the lads talk about race week and it's like I wanted to escape. You know, if I wanted to talk about it, I'd be in the chat talking to you, but I don't, I want to escape and it comes up on my screen. In the top left corner. Alright, so this is brand new guys, we've only ever been to the place we've just come out of. So this is all new for me as well. But yeah, I just watched um, Copper 90's uh, Derby Days and they went to Boca Juniors River Plate for the Copa de la Latorias final, the two legs. Uh, they're the South American equivalent of the uh, Champions League and it was insane. Obviously we all know about the Boca Bus and what happened. You know, it went worldwide in the end. And to see it through some other, to see it through actual people that live there who are fans and look at it through their eyes and be in their world, it was actually quite, it was quite upsetting as a football fan like I am to see that there were people bitterly disappointed that they didn't get to see his final because you know a couple of I was going to say dickhead but I'm not going to uh, a very few poor judgmented police officers and fans throwing stuff and military grade tear gas into the team bus that was wrong but Colombo who is their South American equivalent of FIFA need to get their right act together trying to force the Boca players to play on like they forced the captain to come back from hospital after getting you know in the bus attack and they forced him to come back just to provide a doctor's note and they said why well, you're here you can play and then demanded Boca played Carlos Tevez said no and he's the captain of Boca and he said no so Colombo weren't very happy so they, they suspended it and postponed it to the next game uh, for the next day and they said no we need more time to recover 
and then uh, the Argentinian president, prime minister, president, came and said that you know it was wrong and it's not being held here. We can't have all this cracking off, and I'm in the wrong way. <laughs> That's because I was looking at the lane markers on the floor. Alright. Going the wrong way, so I need to fire so I have to turn around. But yeah, it was it was upsetting to see it through their eyes. So to speak. But Colombo I need to have a look at themselves. It took a long hard, good hard look at themselves like in forcing players to play in them conditions. Are you mad? Gone. Surprisingly enough, I don't need fuel now. I'll try and turn around without breaking anything. Ooh, Iceland Air Cargo. I had one of them trucks come up my little side street the other day. It's hilarious. 44 ton, 40 metre, low deck. Brand new Scania, right? Iceland Air Cargo. Bearing in mind, East Midlands Airport is like 13 miles to the northeast of me, and Birmingham Airport's about 40 miles to the south of me, right? And then having him up here going, is this the way to? Uh, is this the way to Manchester Airport? And like, mate, you've taken a wrong turn. Where have you come from? He goes, I've come from Dover. And they've given me the postcode, and the postcode by fluke. Who's the next door neighbours? <laughs> yeah, so I said, no mate. And he said, oh, I'm Icelandic. I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. I've never met anybody from Iceland. I didn't make any uh, uh, Viking jokes, because I'm not that nasty. And we was talking, and the bloke speaks perfect English. He's got an English driving license. He's actually got an English class one. This is why Iceland Air let him come to Britain because he's got all the licenses and yet four other people who live on my road gave him grief. Right in front of my face. And I felt so sorry for him. I'm actually going to talk about this in depth more in the next Virtual Truck Driver Daily. Yeah, Virtual Truck Driver Diaries next week. But I just thought I'd give you a little snippet to enjoy. And to uh, savour your appetite for the next on uh, next week. Though we could be talking about it soon because if this reverse is going to go like I think it is, we'll be here till next week doing it. I actually think I've got it in the bay or I've completely made it. I've completely. It's good to have pulled out that one. Some of the things I heard some of the people say, but nah, it's like oral war. I can't repeat them because YouTube will ban me. Plus, I actually felt I felt really bad for him. Like, I made him a brew and some biscuits and things, and talked to him. But yeah, an Iceland airplane cargo plane got stuck at Charles de Gaulle, so he was taking the load from. Charles de Gaulle up to Manchester, taking a load from Manchester to uh, to Reykjavik. Um, then he was going home for two weeks. Well, he'd be home anyway, but he'd stay at home for two weeks, is what he was saying to me. And I'm telling you, some of the, some of the stuff, guys, is wrong. Poor man. Sometimes I am disgusted in my own nation. I love England. I don't love the England that's becoming because of all of this issue with Brexit and shit. And actually, people stop DMing me on uh, Twitter and asking me for my opinion on Brexit and why don't I talk about it. It's because A, I don't know anything about it, and B, I don't give a flying fuck what happens. 
the press are going to do what they're going to do when they want to do and the, the politicians we've got in this country are going to do what they want to do when they want to do it's obvious that they're trying to stop Brexit so why don't they just oil and say we're not going out not leaving Europe because they know there will be another civil war on their hands that's why so that's that for today uh, well this week's episode guys I want to say thank you to everybody for watching I hope you enjoyed our double trip from Serbia to uh, as you know from Austria to to Cyprus for, via yeah it was from uh, Vienna to Paphos or via Nice in Serbia hope you enjoyed guys and I'll see you again next week take care